Hey fantastic viewers, welcome back to Kodos Cafe. Today we are stepping into a realm of innovation that's set to transform the way you envision your home. If you ever dreamt of diving into the world of smart living without the complexities, this one's for you. We are introducing our latest creation, the Modular IoT Kit, a game changer design for our incredible community. Imagine a setup that turns your home into a smart heaven without the need for technical know-how? Yes, you heard that right. No coding, no electronics, just plug in the gateway, connect a few nodes and done. Your home is a smart heaven. So let's dive in. To begin, simply plug in the gateway to a power socket. As it powers up, it automatically generates a setup page allowing you to easily configure your Wi-Fi credentials. Once done, the gateway seamlessly connects to the internet through your Wi-Fi network. These nodes are equipped to monitor various environmental aspects like temperature, pressure, humidity, and more. Additionally, we have the motion sensor node and the door sensor node. When powered on, these nodes autonomously connect to the gateway, effortlessly forming an IoT network within your home. But that's not all. Transform any standard power socket into a smart plug by connecting the smart plug node. Instantly, you gain remote control and monitoring capabilities over that socket. The cherry on top, our intuitive dashboard. Using the unique kit ID and node IDs, seamlessly link each sensor to the dashboard. This allows you to visualize and control the gathered data effortlessly. Utilize different widgets on the dashboard to customize your experience, granting you complete control and insight into your home's environment. Now let's explore how this is built. Before getting into the build, we would like to thank our sponsor PCBWay for sponsoring the PCBs for the modular IoT kit. More about them later in the show. Let's delve into the hardware details. The Seed Shio USB series will power all the devices used in the kit due to its small form factor, wireless connectivity, high performance, and adjustable power modes. Also, it supports long range communication up to 100 meter with this UFL antenna. All these devices will have a custom PCB with a 3D printed case. All the PCBs used in this project were designed in EasyDA software and fabricated from PCBWay. PCBWay is a reputable PCB manufacturer offering high quality boards with a quick turnaround times at competitive prices. They provide excellent customer support, online coating, and assembly services, making them a one step solution for PCB needs. These are the fabricated PCBs which we got from the PCB way after uploading the Gerber file to them. The quality is good as promised and the packaging is also very nice. To protect and house the delicate electronic, custom cases were created using the Autodesk Fusion 360. These cases were thoughtfully designed to provide physical protection and enhance the aesthetic appeal of the devices. First, we are going to look at the gateway. The gateway is the only device which is powered by the Shio ESP32 S3 and all the remaining devices are powered by the Shio ESP32 C3. The 230V AC powers the ESP32 S3 through this high link power supply with some decoupling capacitors. We used these three small pins to connect with the 230V AC so the gateway could easily plug it into the socket. If you are replicating this node, be cautious because you are dealing with high voltages. Then we soldered all the components onto the PCB one by one and screwed it to the case, then uploaded the firmware, which is written in Arduino IDE. So the gateway is ready, it's time to look upon the nodes. 
All the nodes are powered by the ESP32 C3. The reason why we opted for it is due to its small form factor and ability to connect the LiPo battery directly and also charge them easily without any additional charge controller. First, we are looking at the environmental sensor node. BME680 is a sensor used in this node to get the environmental data such as temperature, humidity, pressure and gas resistance. We used the I2C protocol for communicating between ESP32C3 and BME680. The firmware is written on Shio ESP32C3 to ensure it updates the value to the gateway only once every 10 minutes while utilizing the deep sleep mode. In this way, we are increasing the battery life of the node. All the nodes have this kind of SPDT push switch for turning on or off the device and also this 400mAh LiPo battery for powering up except the smart plug. This is the case designed for the environmental node. All the nodes share the common characteristics with some tiny changes except the smart plug. So let's start assembling this node. So our environmental sensor node is ready, let's move on to the next node, the motion detection node. MHSR602 mini motion sensor detector is used in this node for detecting human motions. In this node also, we use the deep sleep capability of the controller. The ESP will be in deep sleep every time unless a trigger is given to the ESP32 by the PAR motion sensor whenever the motion is detected. When it wakes up, it will give the message to the BLE gateway and again goes back to the deep sleep. Here is the case and the PCB for the motion detection node. So let's assemble the node. The motion detection node is ready. It's time for the next node. The third one is the door sensor node, which is powered by the magnetic read switches and the magnets. We are using the normally open magnetic read switches for this node which will only close when the magnet attaches to it and stay open when there is no magnet aside. The magnetic read switch is connected in a pull down configuration with a 10k resistor. This works similarly to the motion detection node but the only difference is that the interrupt is triggered by the magnetic read switch instead of the motion sensor when someone opens the door. Then it passes the message to the gateway. Here is the case for the door sensing node which consists of two parts, a small part where the magnet stays and this large part where the read switch and MCU stays. Let's start assembling this node. Our DAW sensor is also ready, finally we are looking into this smart plug. The whole structure of this smart plug and the gateway are the same. But the smart plug have this extra IC socket and also this relay unit. So we can connect appliances to it and we can control it. This is the PCB and the case for this node and the PCB will look like this when the soldering finishes. This is the finished PCB so let's start assembling. Our final node smart plug is ready for deployment. We are proud to be a team of tech enthusiasts constantly pushing the boundaries of innovation with our exciting projects. If you are passionate about technology as we are, then show your support by joining our Patreon or buy me a coffee. And be sure to share this video with all your friends and hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our latest adventures. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next video. Stay tuned.